Hello guys, this is Sajid back again with a new part of our advanced WordPress security course. In this part, I will talk about DDoS attack. Some of my websites are currently under DDoS attack and I think this is the best time to record a video on this topic because I can show some analytics of my website. DDoS attack stands for distributed denial of service attack. In this attack, the hacker sends too many requests from multiple sources until the target website goes down. I'm facing this attack from the last few days and I want to show you how I protect my website in this difficult situation. The hacker is sending millions of requests to down my website. My website went down multiple times. I made a strategy to recover and survive in this hard situation. Luckily, my website is now up and running. As I told you earlier, I'm facing this problem for the last few days. Usually, my website receives less than 1000 requests, but on 7 July at 7 pm, my website received 4.4 million requests, and then on the same day, after 2 hours at 9 pm, my website received 6.6 .6 million requests. Due to this attack, my website was down on 8 July for the whole day. As I recovered my website on 9 July at 8 pm again, my website received 180.4 million requests, which is a very big number, and again my website went down. Then I made a strategy to recover my website and never let it down. Still, the attacker is shooting my website. Yesterday on 13 July at 10 pm, my website received 3.4 5 million requests but now my website is secure and the attacker can't do anything in the last seven days my website received total 225 million requests and 1.2 tb data is transferred the attacker is sending traffic from 145 countries but most of the requests are received from usa and china now you understand the nature and intensity of the attack. Let's talk about protection. To protect my site from a DDoS attack, I configured Cloudflare for my site. I recommend Cloudflare for all of your sites. It can increase the security and performance of your website. Cloudflare provides a firewall for website security. After adding Cloudflare to my website, I waited for the next attack to gather some information like the IP addresses used by the attacker and the countries from which the attacker is sending requests. After gathering all information, I created firewall rules for blocking the attacker's IP addresses and the countries used for the attack. You can add more firewalls rules as for your need. After creating these firewall rules, I also enabled the red limiting feature. The next thing is to enable under attack mode of Cloudflare for my website. After all these configurations, then I change the IP address of my server. Finding the server IP for a domain is not very hard, but if a site is configured with Cloudflare, then the attacker will see the Cloudflare IP addresses instead of the real IP of the server. If the hacker knows your server IP, then make sure you change it. Otherwise, hacker can bypass the Cloudflare and target your IP instead of domain. And keep in mind, Cloudflare provides protection for domain, not for the IP.